Okay, yesterday I promised you that I was going to share a story that illustrates how when one person starts acting out of alignment with their values, it has some really negative results. So currently, my favorite series on Disney Plus is The Mighty Ducks. Oh, I love it so much. Me and my family, we watch it on Friday nights. Let me know if you've been watching it and if you like it. Oh, that's a loud honk out there. I love it so much. What happens in this last episode was the mum who she decided to create her own hockey team called the Don't Bothers because her son got kicked off the Mighty Ducks. And it was because like the Mighty Ducks was like only about winning. It was like, push, 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 push. We have to be the winners. Anyway, she was like, no, like your kids, your seventh graders, we're going to put fun first and if other things happen great. And she builds this team and these kids that just were forgotten and left behind joined and they created this friendship, this bond, this team commodity. What is that word? You know what I mean? That, that C word. I don't remember what it's called. Anyway, they, it's just beautiful. And then some of these other people get in her head and they're like, whoa, you're a threat to the, like, the Mighty Ducks now. They're worried about you. And she's like, oh, they are. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then they're like, oh yeah, but you, you guys could win. You just got like up at a notch. And so she gets in her head like, uh-huh we're a threat, uh -huh. we're going to win. And she starts acting out of alignment of putting fun first and being like, I have to win, right? And it becomes this self-centered um, kind of venture. While at the same time, she's having like this interview with um, the news where they're like, oh, tell us your story. And she's like, yeah, we put fun first, blah, blah, blah. But on the side with her, you know, with the team, she is not putting fun first. She's making them like eat broccoli and drink grass and work, 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 because they have to win. And the episode ends with her son with the team realizing like they have to sack her. They have to fire her as their coach because no longer do they feel like connected. Are they having fun because it's just become about winning. And it's just such an excellent example of what can happen when we start acting out of alignment with our values. Those closest to us, those that we care most deeply about, the things that we put our heart into, we end up pushing away, disconnecting, and then they're in pain and we're in pain because we are not in line with who we truly want to be. And this is the thing, we do this. And I love that this is just not something that happens to a few of us. It's what happens to all of us because we are massively influenced by um, those people around us, their opinions in society, within our culture, within our family, within our you know religious congregations, within social media. Um, we just have so many messages coming at us of what we're supposed to be, what we're supposed to look like, how we're supposed to act, how our children are supposed to be, what our marriage, like a perfect marriage looks like. All of these things are just so loud. And the awesome thing is God knew that we were going to get out of alignment, that we we're going to mess up, that we were going to put pride first and put um, our worry of what other people might think or our kind of carnal desires first. And he provided this amazing gift called repentance where we can just repent every single time and we can start fresh. We repent, we realign. We get out of alignment, we repent, we realign. It's just this consistent um, you know, redirection and it's amazing. So my question to you right now is, um, can you identify a time this has happened? Look back. Sometimes it's easier if it's like something that happened a long time ago because you're so emotionally distant from it that you can see it with clearer eyes. Choose a situation that has happened in your life, a very specific situation, not like, oh, whenever this person's around, blah, blah, blah. No, get specific. When this specific thing happened, I felt this feeling and I had these thoughts and it led me to act in this way. And that was out of alignment with my values of who I wanted to be. Okay, and just gather data, gather data like a scientist, start picking up signals of when that's happening for you. And um, every time we gather more information about ourselves, how we are reacting to the life that's happening around us, we have more information of how to do things differently next time so that we can get a more desired result.
Let's do it. Let's do it. Also, go watch Mighty Ducks because it's lovely.